Many times when we talk about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, people get confused. They think whether we have multiple gods. In Christianity, we don't have multiple gods. We have one God. If you don't understand the functions, you think that we worship different gods. No. One God. One what? You need to have deep revelation. Otherwise, you confuse yourself. One man can be a father. One man can be a son. And one man can be a husband. It's not different persons. It's one person. To his father, he's a son. To his wife, he's a husband. To his children, he's a father. One man. That is how God is. We have God the Father. He came as the Word, God the Son. And He's the same one with us now. God the Holy Ghost. Depends on how you manifest, but it's one God. Are you getting what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit is the third person in Trinity. It's God Himself. He's not less than God. But hear this and hear me well. He is a person. It's not a wind. He's not fire. He's not a white dove. Those are only symbols. It's not just an atmosphere. It's not an environment. It's not just a presence. It's a person with a presence. Many times people mistake it. The Holy Spirit is not a presence. It's a person with a presence. The perfume is not me. The barking of a dog is not the dog. Oh, you enter somebody that just I feel his presence. He's a person with the what? You don't feel his presence. He's a person. Presence don't speak. But he speaks. It's not an atmosphere. I see the Holy Ghost, this atmosphere. No. He's a person that creates an atmosphere. Am I talking to you? An atmosphere does not talk, but he talks. He speaks. He thinks. So it's a, until you know that it's a person, you just be thinking it's one. You see some people who have good people, they say, mm, I feel his presence. <laughs> you know, those are religious jokes. You know? <laughs> it's already in you. You don't have to feel it. You say, I'm in you. So it's not a feeling matter. It's there 24 hours. Did you hear me? Now, he resides in you. He resides where? So you don't have to. <sighs> All those are religious jokes. It's already inside you. Already make... <sighs> if you like, do your face like someone who's inside the toilet. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> it's when they come somewhere, they say, <sighs> I just feel his presence here. <clears throat> you don't have to make. <clears throat> it's inside you. No leave. No trust. You know, they make him look like an abstract thing to ever reach. Until I had a personal revelation. Before now, if you say Holy Spirit, the first thing I do is you do like this. It's there. True? Say the truth. If I say Holy Spirit, what would occur to you? You look up. It's there. It's not there. It's here. It's inside you. It's not somewhere. It's not far. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'll teach that in course of this month. Even to... To hear from God, but us all, he's so close to you that he speaks to you as a man speaks to his friend. I'm going to tell you, the reason how I hear God like a man hears his friend. I hear God with so much ease. I don't make to hear God. I basically make I hear him as a man hears his friend. I'll tell you the secret how. You will hear, look, the sweetest part of Christianity is to know how to relate with him. If you know how to relate with the Holy Spirit, you will enjoy Christianity. You won't be full of religion. You won't look like this. Mm -hmm. All those are just religious egoism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people, people think that when they do that, they are very spiritual. And if you, if you are around them, you, you think you are kind of. <laughs> they do like this. Mm -hmm. Then you just feel as if you have not born again. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Now, when Jesus was on earth, he helped the disciples at every point of their lives. Is that true? When they went to him for tax, he just laughed. He said, my friend, 
go open the mouth of a fish, you see money there. There was no time they went to him that he ever say go and come again. He profiles solution to everything of their lives. They never, they were never stranded at any point. Is that true? But Jesus is no longer here. Is he here now? No. Are you saying that as children of God, we are left as orphans? No. Jesus made a statement in John chapter 14 and verse 16. He said, I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. They were saying, I am your comforter now. But I'm going to ask the Father to give you another one that he may abide with you forever. Whatever I am doing now, he's going to do it. Jesus was one person, true? He was one person, he was in Israel, he didn't go to Greek, he didn't go to Nigeria, he didn't go to Saudi Arabia, he didn't go to Ghana, he was in Israel. But he said, I'm going to send someone who will be everywhere at the same time. I am here now, but I'm going to send another person who will come to do what I'm doing. So he, Holy Spirit permit me is Jesus unlimited. Is who? That whatever you know Jesus was doing is what the Holy Spirit does now. Now listen carefully. If you don't understand, you'll still be running to Jesus. We are supposed to be running to the Holy Spirit. He said, I'm going to send you another comforter. So the comforter with us is who now? It's no more Jesus. Have you heard people say, Jesus spoke to me? It's not just who spoke to them. It's the Holy Spirit that spoke to them. But even great men of God say, I heard Jesus spoke to me. No, it's the Holy Ghost. Jesus can't speak to you now. He said, when he's come, he shall tell you all through. So he doesn't speak anymore. The speaking one now is who? The Holy Spirit. But people say, Jesus spoke to me. No, 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 no. no. It's not Jesus who spoke to you. It's the Holy Spirit that spoke. But he will glorify Jesus. Are you getting me? He will glorify who? Jesus. So our dead helper now is the Holy Spirit. So may lift your right hand and say, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. Reveal yourself. I want to know you to know as, a as a person. Not the experience of someone else. Person. I want a personal encounter want person. of who you are. In Jesus' name. 